Welcome to Vlogmas 2022. My name is Malena on Instagram and here on YouTube. You can find me as The Playful Knitter, but also Strik og Musik. And that is because I am a Danish knitter. Usually I podcast in Danish, but this December, I, yeah, I'm jumping in. I'm trying my hand at vlogging in English. So thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate you spending some of your precious time with me. I hope that you will enjoy what I can show you. Um, I am jumping in here. It is today, Tuesday, the 29th of November, so not even December 1st. But I just thought that I would do a little pre-vlogmas and let you know a little bit about what you can expect from me. So what I do in my Danish podcast is I show my knitting, talk about yarn, all the good stuff. And then I spice it up with a little bit of calming piano music because that is what I do. I am a musician, a music teacher. I play the piano and I just, I love knitting, I love music. So I combine the two and for me that is just the perfect cocktail. So on here you can expect talk about knitting. I will show you my everyday life during December, what I'm up to. This December I have taken a little bit of an eye of a um, hiatus from my job. Um, maybe I'll let you know a little bit more about that during Rot Vlogmas, but let's just skip that part right now. <laughs> um, but mainly so I can focus on my family, take care of them, take care of myself. And um, that also gives me a little bit of time to show some of my Christmas traditions and what I do. So. Maybe not all Danes will do the way I do it, but yeah. Danish Christmas, my way. <laughs> and I will um, play every day. You will hear some piano music, sometimes like as a layer over the, the footage. Um, and sometimes you will see me playing and talking about what I am playing. So knitting and music, that's what, what I'm all about. Um, when I podcast in Danish, uh, usually I pick a piece of music myself, uh, talk a bit about why, uh, if it has, if it's related to somebody famous who knits or something like that. And then I also have a wish section where, um, some of my Danish podcaster colleagues, they get to choose a song and I talk a little bit about their podcast and play the song that they wished for. So, this Christmas, I uh, contacted some of my favorite English-speaking podcasters, and they got back to me. I'm so excited. <laughs> I don't know really what I thought would happen, that they wouldn't get back to me. I don't know. Kind of weird, somebody just contacting me, hello, can I play a song for you? <laughs> Whatever, they were, they, they were just so kind and they got back to me and they said, yeah, that's a great idea. Of course, we'll participate. So I'm so happy about that. So basically, this Vlogmas is going to be about Danish Christmas, by the way, lots of knitting, advent calendars, um, and music. So I hope that you will enjoy and follow along. After this of me rambling along, you will see um, what I've been up to uh, during the days leading up to December 1st. <clears throat> Excuse me. This Sunday, I started um, one of my advents. I have a four skein advent, and uh, last Sunday was uh, the first Sunday of Advent, so I opened that, and you'll see that right after this message right here. <laughs> and... Um, so yesterday, today, tomorrow, I have a big concert. I'm, I'm in a contemporary choir. We do mostly a cappella, but this year we're in one of the uh, big TV Christmas shows, uh, national here in Denmark, but teeny tiny country, but fun anyways. Yesterday we had rehearsal, today as well, and tomorrow stress re rehearsal, and then two shows that will be filmed during the evening. On Thursday, there's another concert, but I'll take you along to as much of that as I am able to. So thank you again so very much for being here. 
I hope to chat along with you in the comment thread. Um, during the Vlogmas, anything I talk about, other podcasts, knitting, whatever, will be in the description box below right here. So if you want to know anything, look there. And um, if it doesn't say anything about it there, just write a comment and I'll answer you as good as I can. If you feel like checking my Instagram out, you're more than welcome. I am the playful knitter over there. I would love to see you. But let's just start with the most important thing and why we're all here. The yarn, the knitting, and the music. Thank you and talk to you later. Good morning and happy first Sunday of Advent. Before I open my first present, I thought I would tell you guys a little bit about my calendars this year. I might have gone a little overboard. We won't talk about that. It's a thing, okay? It's yarn. You guys know where I'm coming from, right? <laughs> All right, but the first one, that's not yarn. That is tea. I have had this calendar for, I don't know, lots of years, and I just, I love it so much. It is um, a new tea every day, so I will start opening them on December 1st. This is from a very old tea merchant here in Denmark, in Copenhagen, um, Parks. It's very lovely. I can't wait to open those. For my daily ones, there's this one, is Ladybug Yarns. She is a Danish indie dyer. Very, very talented. This one has an Outlander theme. And this one, is by Christina. She's also a Danish hand dyer. It has a Beverly Hills 90210 theme. Very 90s. I love it. Um, she used to be a part of Berk and Berg, but they split up. So now she is Bjerkefit. Oh, she's very talented. I love her so much. And this one right here, and those two, that's a homespun house. I have looked at Molly's calendars for the last couple of years and just wanted one so bad, so I decided that this year was a year for me. I also have the um, 24 stripe skein from the Cozy Knitter. Sorry for the crinkling. And I got the mini skein. So what I'm planning to do is knit the cuff two cuffs and then on December 1st I will open my package and go to town the last calendar I have this year is an advent for foreskin advent calendar for the advent Sundays and today I get to open one so that's exciting first two here this is from a lonely sock lady. She is also a Danish indie dyer. She does uh, self-striping sock yarns and she is extremely talented. So I'm excited to see what's in here. First, first advent. Let's see what it says. It says stop reading and unwrap. So I'll do that and get back to you. Oh my gosh, would you look at this one? That's so pretty. So this is 70 grams of self self striping sock yarn and then 20 grams of the contrast. It's always a sock set when you buy from Lona. And let me show you right here. Today's color is Rudolph's cocktail. On the little note for this set, it says, because the reason um, that Rudolph's nose is red and always like lighting up, apparently the reason might be cocktails. I don't know about that, but it's fun, right? Lona tells us that it's what Mrs. Claus says about Rudolph, that that's the reason. So you get four sock sets, 
in the calendar from Ohlone Soft Lady. And then you get little trinkets. And look at the one for today. Isn't that cute? And it comes apart. And then on the inside, stitch markers or row counters. I use them for socks. It's cool. I don't measure my socks. I count rows. So it's a little tiny ball of yarn. That's so cute. Hey, 